think that's love. Y'all, y'all, y'all. Hi, this is Caroline, always reminding you that you are created beautifully. I have this beautiful green fall look that is perfect for this time of the year. This is my third attempt trying to record this video and I've worn it out a couple of times and I've gotten a lot of compliments on it. So I'm super happy to show you how to do this on my channel because it's honestly super duper easy. So if you're interested at all on how I did this look, please continue watching. Don't forget, if you're new to my channel, please consider hitting that subscription button, turn on your notifications and share this video. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much. Like seriously, thank you so much for taking the time to come on back. I wish you guys all the best. Let's get started. I did prime my eyes with concealer and then I did set it with my Sasha Buttercup setting powder and I did my brows off camera. I also did one of my eyes just to save some time so you guys don't have to sit through me doing both of my eyes. We are gonna take this first color which is Rule by MAC and I'm just taking a fluffy, I'm getting a lot of that color, tapping it off and I'm just gonna add that above my crease area. Not in my crease area but above my crease area. And this is very important for those of you who are blessed with a lot of lid space. And if you actually ha do have the hooded eyes, you just wanna take a smaller brush and do the same thing. So you're just gonna use that right above your crease area. Using this orange color really helps balance out the green look that we're doing today. So taking a smaller dome brush, I'm gonna take this brown color here called Brown Script, and I am gonna use this color and place that right in my actual crease area to deepen it up. These two colors are just the perfect color for any of you brown girls out there looking for transition colors. Like these two are my absolute go-to. Taking a flat shader brush, we are gonna take this beautiful, beautiful matte color called Humid right here. Absolutely love this color and I don't know why I don't show it more love. So taking a flat shader brush, I am taking that color humid, tapping it off, and I am gonna place that. We are going for a halo look today. I am placing that in my inner corner, and I'm also gonna place that on the outer corner of my eye. And don't worry, you can get really messy here because we will go back in, clean it up, and we are just placing the color. Now taking a medium-sized fluffy dome brush, I'm taking that color, and I'm just connecting this two sides for our halo look right in the crease. Remember, we are just placing color. We will go back in and blend out. A beautiful army green. I just love it. And perfect for the fall. Now, just wiping off that medium-sized fluffy dome brush, I'm going to go ahead and just soften that color making sure that there are no harsh lines. Next, to get this very beautiful beautiful lime green we are going into our whoo this is this palette is getting a lot of loves all dirty and i am going in with my ben nice setting powder i'm just spraying that brush down flat shader brush i'm taking that beautiful beautiful lime green in the center oh she looking good she got that pop of color taking a little bit more look at that Oh, probably going to say this in every single eye look. Make sure to get that color right at your lash line so there's no big old gap. You could totally rock this look just like that, but I see like there's a big transition between my mid and then that lime green. So I want to marry those colors like we belong together. I'm taking this green. It's called Sumptuous Olive from MAC. We're taking that on a flat shader brush and we are just gonna go right around, I hope you can see that, right around those edges to marry those colors together. It has hints of gold in it. It marries those colors. It's like you can't tell where one ends and one starts. I feel like I've lost some of the intensity from Zulu palette. Now I'm just gonna go in with my finger and I'm just gonna Oh Lord. This is from the Tinania family. They got this little clip of this guy that's singing that. 
And that's how I be feeling sometimes. I'll see these bright colors coming through, like coming through. Just gotta love it. I'm just gonna wipe off the excess. All this green has got to go. You can't stay here. So I am gonna go ahead and finish up my look. I will fast forward this part for you and then i will be back to finish up my eyes and show you how this all ends up Now that the rest of my face is done, I'm gonna go in with my current favorite liquid eyeliner, which is the NYX Epic Ink. While I let that dry, I'm gonna go ahead and take my gel liner and I'm gonna line my waterline. Now I'm gonna go back in brown script and I'm gonna smoke out the bottom of my lash line. I am gonna go back in Swiss Olive and I'm gonna place that right on top of what we smoked out. For my brow bone area, for my inner tear ducts, I'm gonna take this matte color called Blank Type. Is that right under my brow area. Make sure to go back in and fade it through so it's not this obvious white. Place that in my inner tear duct. I'm falling back in love with Melba by MAC. I'm gonna be using again for my blush. I did use my Nutmegs by NYX. And then for my lipstick, I used Gerard Cosmetics 1995 Dumpling from ColourPop. So this is the finished look. I did highlight using Rekindle by Makeup Geek. And I'm really happy with this look. Like I said in the beginning, this is my third attempt to record it. And I'm super happy to share it with my channel. And for all those who are subscribed to my channel, thank you so much. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for coming back. And thank you for being so awesome about leaving comments at the bottom of these videos. I truly appreciate it. And if you're new, go ahead and hit that subscription button. Turning on your notifications so that you know every time I post a new video. And then keep on coming back for more. Happy Thanksgiving. God bless you all. Thank you for watching. Bye.